Yo, what's up, guys? Here we finally are with week two of the PMC um, versus the Kansas City Kakunas and the coach Adam. And we, of course, are the Ponton Crowbats, and we're taking on another division rival this week um, after winning week one 3 0. So, um, would be nice to start off 2 0 and get like a demanding position in our division. But um, our opponent also won uh, in week one, and he has a very threatening team. As you can see, brought Floggers, Genesect, Rodem Heat, Ladias, Gorgeist, and Mammoswine, while I brought um, Aselgor, Amungas, Cobellion, Landris T, Slowbro, and Megalopony. Um, if you haven't checked my team builder, do it now, probably before the battle, so you know what sets I'm gonna bring. I'll link it down below in the description, so you um, like know everything that I prepared for the, for the battle. Um, it's a very tough matchup because we don't have like a really good answer to um, Genesect, Genes especially if it's a mixed or special variant, um, because it can has like the coverage for everything on my team. Um, we also don't have the best counter or check for an offensive Rotom, which I expect expected him to bring, um, and we have to like pivot around it with our regenerator core so that Among Us can take like the Volt switches and slow bro the um, Overheats and stuff like that. Um, yeah, um, looking at his team, I really expected him to lead with um, a Genesect, probably a Scarf variant, or the Mammoth Swine um, to maybe get a Rocks early. I decided to lead with my uh, Scarf the Selgor because I can basically one KO a Scarf Genesect leads, and he probably doesn't expect me to run Scarf on a Selgor, and I can focus blast and kill a Mammoth Swine. So um. I would say let's hop right into it. Um, I'm a little hungover now at the moment, so don't wonder if I uh, sound weird or something. <laughs> but yeah, um, he leads off with his Mammoth Swine to get up his rocks early. And at the beginning of this game, I have to say I play really bad. Um, I designed my Cobalion to be like my main my main counter for um, the Mammoth Swine, and I should know that um, his Mammo is a sash lead, focus sash lead. Um, so I go for the focus blast here, but I should have gone um, straight into my Cobalion, get up rocks and threaten this thing out because he cannot touch me with an EQ, um, which he goes for, I believe. Yeah, he goes for the EQ um, while I hit him with the with the focus blast. And now instead, again, instead of going in my, into my Cobalion, expecting the eyeshot, I go into my slow bro, which is like very dumb on my part because I know it's a sash lead and my Cobalion can outspeed and he cannot touch me with an um, EQ because I'm an Abaloon variant and an eye shot does basically nothing because I resisted. So I should have gone in my t into my Cobalion again on the first two turns. But here I allow him to hit me with the eye shot which doesn't matter but I allow him to get up rocks which is like terrible for me. I needed to win the Hazard War. I don't have hazard control on my side, and he gets a Roxy on the next turn. Um, while I kill him with the Ice Beam, I believe. Yeah, I do. But his Mammoth Swine really wasn't a, thre a threat to me, so um, he did a good job um, weakening my Selga to a point where it can come in only once on rocks, and um, like setting up his own rocks while preventing hazards on my side. Um, now the next turn is gonna be really bad for me. He sends out his Rodem, which can easily Volt Switch around, but I don't know if it's an offensive uh, variant or a defensive variant. And I stay in and go for the um, Slack off, as you can see, um, just to see what kind of damage he does, because I know I can take even the Specs um, Thunderbolt with my Slowbro. Um, I just want to see what, what set it is, but he misses his uh, overheat, which is terrible for me, actually, because I could have a taken it easily, could have b uh, see uh, seen what um, item he has if it's a life op attacker, a specs attacker, or if he's locked in in any way, um, if it's a, a, def a defensive variant and stuff like that, and he misses, so he's not even at minus two after the overheat which sucks for me because basically I have to slack off again to see if he has the Volt Switch or not um, and like kinda gauge the damage from there and 
play to play around the rotom uh, better later. Um, but here I go again for the slack off, but he switches out into his floggers, not going for the wall switch, which leads me to believe that he is either choice scarfed or choice specs. Yeah, as I go again for the slack off. Um, here he makes a pretty nice double switch um, going into his ladias, expecting me to switch out, which I um, which I do, going into my Cobalion. I take the rock, dam rock damage, which doesn't matter. And here I set up my Stealth Rock, and I see that I outspeed this ladias, which leads me to believe that it's a uh, either um, a defensive variant or at least modest. And here he hits me with a psychic and does a hell of a lot with the critical hit and that's that crit really sucks for me. Because like the psychic would have done like sixty percent and it probably is a modest attacker from the damage it it dealt, but here I'm only at seventeen uh HP which is like eight percent of my health and that really sucks for me because I cannot switch in again with my Cobalion on any attack. Even a foul play from from the um, Gorgas would would have killed me, and I cannot bring this thing back again. So I basically have to sag it here, get some damage off with the Iron Head, and that makes it like really really hard for me to um, play around his offens offensive threats better and to maybe get up my rocks later, and. As I said in my team preview, um, winning the Hazard War is really important for me. Um, because I need Rocks up to put everything in range for my uh, Law Pony to sweep later. Rocks damage would guarantee me a 2 uh, a KO with High Jump Kick on Gorgas, which I cannot uh, KO from full, but after Rocks I can. And stuff like that it really matters. And I cannot. Uh, cannot um, set up my rocks later because my Cobalion is down now. Um, I go into a Selga to threaten him out and just get up my spikes, um, probably um, hoping that he, that I can prevent Defog for quite some time so that he takes some damage from my hazards. Um, I cannot come back in with my Selga because, like I said, um, rocks are up on my side and I take 25% from uh, entry. So I go for my second layer of, spike as, of spikes as he uh, just kills me with the moon blast. Um, I play the early game here, in my opinion, really terribly. Um, I don't pre didn't prevent rocks on my side, which I could have easily done against the mammoth swine. I didn't get like solid damage off on the ladias. I um, basically put myself to, into a position where I cannot get hazard, uh, hazards up later. Well, the crit on my Cobalion sucked kind of, but it's what it is I guess and yeah um, when he wants to defog um, he has to defog away his own rocks which is good for me and but still I need rocks on his side um, up but he probably can defog later here I go into my um, Landorus T just to uh, just to um, do some damage to this thing um, I should have in my opinion, gone for the, gone into the Amungas as soon as I fire off a Stone Edge, pro expecting the um, Gorgas to come in as he goes for the Protect. And here I go for the U-turn because I doubt he'll stay in, but he does. So I take a Life Orb hit after taking the Rocks, and I don't really get any momentum here. Here I go into my Amungas, which can easily take on this Flogus. He cannot touch me with the Moonblast, even if the Psychic does like 35% or something. As he goes for a wish, um, which is pretty okay, I guess. He wanted to scout for the damage from my um, Landorus, uh, I think, and it's fine. He switches out into his Ladias, which I sadly cannot kill with my Sludge Bomb, which is what I go for. Um, I get the po Poison, which is nice, but as, he brought, as I have seen, he has Flogus, which I expect to have the Heal Bell or the Aromatherapy, so it doesn't really matter. Um, here he goes for the defog, which means rocks won't be up on any side of the field. My spikes are um, defog away, and like I cannot 
punishes switches at all. Because I have like passive walls in Among Us and Slower, as you can see, the best attack I can go for is um, the um, Sludge Bomb. And my Slower can T wave stuff, but with an Ice Beam, it does only like 30 to 40 percent with uh, versus the Ladias. I cannot really threaten his um, walls and cannot prevent him from recovering up with a Roost or a Wish from Flogus. And I put myself into a very bad position here in the early game. Because I, I didn't do what I had to do, which is like keeping my rocker healthy to a point where I can set up my rocks later in the game and make sure he cannot defog them away with the Ladias. Mm -hmm. So here I expect him to go for the um, Roost, I believe, after hitting with another Sludge Bomb or uh, for a Psychic to hit my Among Us, so I go into my um, Slowbro as you can see. Because I like I can hit it with an ice beam or thunder wave something on the switch and I see it takes another turn of poison damage but it doesn't matter because it's not like a toxic just a regular poison he can easily recover it off and heal better later um, he goes out into his flogs as I predicted and go for the thunder wave just to make sure that I um, outspeed it and fire can fire off some skulls or something um, it doesn't help me that much because you can easily go for um, the heal bell or the aromatherapy which is uh, what he goes for I believe yeah so Ladia is no longer poisoned um, Flog is no longer paralyzed but here we are in the spot I, I'm not sure if he packs a toxic or not I don't really want to, my slower to get toxic so I kinda have to see what I um, what's happening here but um, after the heal bell I know he has like Wish Protect Aromatherapy or Heal Bear and Moonblast, probably. Yeah, yes, he killed my Servo there. So I, I'm sure I T wave it and then go out into my Landorus to kind of wear it down with uh, the EQ or the Stone Edge. I see he gets paralyzed, but uh, he gets his Wish back, so it doesn't matter. He's at full now, but paralyzed, which could come in handy. And he switches out now as I expect him to go for Protect or something to see what I can do, so I don't go for the U-turn, I just go for the EQ, which the Gorgas that comes in e can easily tank. And again, I'm in a position where I don't get any momentum in my opinion, and I cannot really break through his walls and punish his switches just because my hazards are up. And it's like something I always preach to uh, when I talk to friends or something that you need to win the hazard war in order to um, win a game you need to keep your uh, war core healthy and you need to uh, keep your win con alive I didn't do a good job of uh, keeping my hazards up I lost both my, both of my um, hazards uh, stackers in Selgo and Cobalion early in the game and it really cost me here in the in the early part of the game. Um, here I go for the U-turn instead of hard switching out, which I should have done to be honest, because like I don't want to take the life of hip hits that often. And I switch out into my Among Us expecting a Willow Wisp, because that's like the only thing I I'd be fine with um, having a Willow Wisp on. But he goes for the fall play just to do some damage to me. Um, next time he synthesis up, uh, which doesn't really matter, it's just like a very stally part here. As I go for the sludge bomb, I cannot 2 it KO it again, it's barely a 3 hit KO. Um, but I repeatedly go for the sludge bomb as he switches out back into Ladias. Um, this thing already has shown the psychic, but I'm a assault vest and I just want to see how much it really does. And if he has like another move, for example, the um, a Thunder Wave or a Draco Meteor or stuff like that, and I just want to see what he's doing. Yes, he switch out, get my regenerator back, go into Slow Bro as he, uh, as I predict him to roost up, and literally every time my Slow Bro is inverse the Ladias, I always go for the Thunder Wave. I um, really want to slow this thing down, so. Um, my landers can hit it hard and awkward with the U-turn. But um, instead of thunder waving here, I make a double switch into Landorus T, expecting the uh, Flogus. But again, this 
switch doesn't really give me anything because he can freely switch around without the hazards up. And I like it was a good double, but I don't get any damage off. I miss my stonish as he gets parrot, which kind of sucks, but it's stonish, so damage would have been nice, but it misses. That's that's what stonish does. Um, he switches out into his um, Gorgeist. Again, Rock's damage would have been really nice so that I could have 2 hit KO'd with the Stone Edge from that range. Um, but I go for the Earthquake, going for the safe play, don't want to miss again. Take another hit of Life Orb, and I U turn out again. And I'm like, I'm playing really dumb at the moment because I take all these Life Orb hits um, unnecessarily, basically, and I don't get any momentum from it because it can just stay in Synthesis up or hit me with the Will O Wisp. So again, I go into my Among Us to Sludge Bomb it, maybe get a Poison so that I can 1v1 it easily, more easily. And yeah, he synthesis is up, is at 75% right now again. He goes for the Willow and misses, which is very good for me, but I think it cancels it out with the Stone Edge miss earlier. And yeah, he sent this up on my platform. I don't get a poison. I don't really get a lot of uh, these side effects like a poison on the platform or a burn on the skull, as you will see later. But uh, I mean, it's Pokemon for you. You either get it or not. It's not too bad, but it would have been would have been helpful because I could have like whittled down his walls more easily and forced him to go for the heal bell with um, the floggers. Um, he sends out Ladias again, and I go back into my Slowbro, expecting a Roost or or a Psychic. Psychic does nothing to me, even though I'm not a lot. Of, I don't have a lot of um, special de defensive investment, but um, he doesn't do anything to me. And he knows I'm gonna go for the T Wave here. Goes back into Flogus, which, like again, it's just a stally part of the game at the moment. I don't get any damage off and here I decide well let's get just uh, try to whittle down his flogs with some skulls. I don't have a good switch and I don't wanna switch in um my Lopani on a potential moon blast and get like eighty percent of damage dealt to me. So I just have to go for the skull which does absolutely nothing. Um here switches out again into his Ladias probably expecting me to go for like go into my land or something but I just fire off another skull don't get a burn again and like this switching around it's so terrible for me that I don't have my hazards up you will hear me complain about it the <laughs> whole battle probably because like stealth rocks would have been so fucking helpful in this game and I really cannot believe I didn't do what I had to do to keep them up it's really really bad for me. Um, this switching around it all would have whittled down his walls so much more as he goes back into his floggers as I fire off a T-Wave. I want this Ladias to be slower than my Lando. Um, yeah here I go for another skull. blah blah blah. I just want to get some damage off as he Moonblasts me. It's like a really stally part, not really interesting was very boring to play it also but I mean I had to do what I had to do and so did he. We both wanted to win this one very badly um, and yeah it's just like there's nothing better I can do because I cannot switch in my Landorus on the Moonblast because um, on a potential Moonblast because uh, it would kill me and I wouldn't get damage off. I cannot switch in my Lopani on a potential Moonblast, especially when I don't know if his Genesec can revenge me with a Scarf variant or if his Rotom is Scarfed or can revenge me later. So it's not really time for me to go for game yet, although I'm like um, getting really, I'm really annoyed by the game and I want, I want to go for the game soon, but I still need to get some damage off on the Gorgeist and on the road and, to, and I have to find out what item Rotom has, uh, which I, spoilers, um, don't find out in the game at all. I expect it to be Scarfed or Specs, but that's all I know. I cannot know for sh I don't know for sure if I uh, outspeed it with Mons or not. 
So here I whittled, try to whittle down this Flogus again as he hits me with some Moon Blast. I Thunder Wave it so I can outspeed it and get a safe slack off, off later. Um, and yeah, it's like. It was like a 50 or 40 minute battle, and the first 25 to 30 minutes were like this stally part that I'm trying to commentate and say something interesting while uh, doing so. But it's like. It's probably boring to watch, and. It was boring to play, to be honest, but. That's what happens sometimes when you bring. Like, when both players bring a, a balanced team, then it's really hard to go for uh, go for game early, especially without hazards up. Uh, here he makes an interesting play, probably expecting me to um, slack off and get my health back, and switches out into the monster himself, Genesect. I'm, like, I have paranoia because of this thing, and he gets the special attack uh, raise as I go for Skald. I think if it's a physical variant, maybe I can get a burn, but I do not, which kind of sucks, but it's, it is what it is. I can revenge kill it later, that's not a problem. But here I have to sack something to the probably incoming buck bus or U-turn. I go into my um, Landorus here because I can take a U-turn, but he makes a good play and goes for the buck bus to kill me. And this was like in la at like 30 minutes into the battle of even 40, 40, uh, 35 or 40 minutes, and I'm like... He could very well um, win this game by time by time stalling me with this core because I cannot break through it. So I decide to go for game here. If he's scuffed, Buckbuster does like 40% to me. If he is not scuffed, I can kill it with the high jump kick. And basically, I get my mega off, outspeed everything on his team unless I scuffed Rotom, and just have to get a sub up on Gorgas to win the game. So I send out my Lopani. Which is, um, as, you can, as you know, if you have seen my team builder, is a high jump kick return, power up punch, substitute set. And in my opinion, here as I mega evolve, he makes, in my opinion, I don't want to say anything bad against him because he played really well the whole game. But in my opinion, this next play on his part is a terrible play. I cannot say anything else. Because if I go for high jump kick here and kill the Genesect, he basically loses the game because he cannot break through my wa wall core. And I can easily um, win the game with uh, Lopani and my two walls, Slobra and the Mungas, if Genesec goes down, because that's a bug bus and a plus one ice beam destroy my Amunga Slobra core. So I expect him to switch out, which he should have done. I don't know if it was ballsy or crazy. <laughs> I actually told it, uh, told him that after the game. He said it was both, but in my opinion, it's just. It's a bad play that worked out for him, because I don't go for the high jump kick to kill it. I go for the power up punch, because I'm annoyed by the stall, stally game, and I want to go for game. If I subbed, if I had subbed here, or if I um, high jump kicked, he would be down, and with, with a sub, I would have won the game, basically. Um, because I cannot break it with the bug bus. But I go for the power up punch, and now he, has, he can just sack the... Um, Flogus to my income re return, which would have killed the Genesect 2 at plus 1. In my opinion, it was. He had like no reason not to go into his Gorgas because it was a full HP or almost full HP. And it was just a lose lose situation basically for him because I can easily kill it or win the game if I sub up. He probably doesn't didn't expect me to sub, but it just to me it didn't make sense that he stayed in. And. Yeah, here I'm at plus one and kill the Flogus, which is pretty cool and like very threatening to his team. And he sends out his Rotom. I actually I watched his team builder just before I recorded it, and this Rotom is not a choice scarf Rotom. He blasts the scarf here perfectly. Shoutouts to him for that. Well, after making a questionable play, he makes makes a great play. He blasts the scarf. I know he can take me out with an with an mm, offensive. Rotom and the Thunderbolt cannot take me out with the Volt Switch, and he won't go for the overheat, over predicting, and he doesn't want to miss probably. So I have to switch out my plus one Lopani, go into my Amungus, and he fires off the T Bolt. He wasn't, um, he wasn't scarfed. He was Specs, and I could have killed him with the high jump kick again, but I didn't. It was like really dumb. I could have won the game here again if I just. Had the balls to make a play. Um, 
Yeah, he switches out after hitting me with the T-Bolt um, into the Ladias as I switch up back again into my um, Lawpunny. Um, I could have played it a little better here because Flogus was down. I could have T-waved some stuff with the um, with my Slowbro, hitting him, hitting him with the Yellow Magic and like slow stuff down. Um, maybe get up a sub on a full para or something. But I'm like really I want to win the game now so I send on my law punny and revenge kill the Ladias with the return. Um so here can here comes like what should have been his main switch in into his thing. He's actually at more like sixty five percent not seventy five but he could have probably played around my law punny better earlier. And I go for a substitute as he synthesis is up. Um he probably didn't know that I have sub heads up and it would have been great for me if he um will o wisp there or just try to attack me because then I basically won the game again. He goes for the foul play and I it was like a sixty percent chance in my favor that my sub doesn't break. That's like the best I get versus him and yeah, here he goes for the um, foul play and breaks my sub, which kind of sucks because if I uh, if my sub would not have broken, I could have gone for the power punch, kill this thing after that, and so I have to go for another um, substitute here. Hope that I that the sub doesn't break to a foul play as I hit him with the high jump kick. As you can see, it does like 45%. Would have two hit KO'd after rocks damage, which again I didn't get up. He goes for the foul play and gets another high roll to break my sub, which basically seals the game for him. Um because I cannot really break through the Gorgas here. I get damage off as he kills me with the foul play. Um killing my Lopani here, which was my win condition. Now I only have my Among Us and my Slowbro in the back. I go to the Slowbro trying to T wave him and revenge kill him. Because could easily um, uh, synthesis up on my Amungas and will me down with the Willow Wisp. So I Thunder Wave it so, so that I cannot speed it, but it doesn't matter at all anymore. Genesect wins in the game now, which kind of sucks for me. Um, yeah, it's like off here, get enough damage back so that I. Maybe can take a bug bus, but I don't think I can, especially at plus one. Nah, there's no chance I live that. Um, he will always me as I kill him on the next turn with the ice beam, I believe. Um, he gets some more damage off with the shadow sneak, which doesn't matter at all because I already lost the game when I lost my um, Lopani. I kill him with the ice beam, get my differential a little bit better. It's gonna be a um, a 2 or loss for us this season as he sends out his Genesect to um, win the game now. Yeah, it's, it kind of sucks because in my opinion he played around my Lopani like well after after I go after um, the first time Lopani hit the field he played around it really well, sack the mounts he needed to sack but it's like I should have high jump kick there probably, but it was just a bad play on his part in my opinion, and it was a a play that probably would have lost him the game, but it actually won him the game because I'm dumb and went for the power punch over predicting. It was as you have seen probably it was a lot of over predicting in this game. Um, he sh he reveals the Ocker Berry, which doesn't really matter if I kill it or not. He could have easily uh, killed me with the um. Rotom afterwards and he just finishes me off and my Amoongus goes down to um, Genesec picked up I believe three kills in this game yeah and really showed that it was a threat versus me and I think it got like three kills in the first game to it like that's what the whole suspect test thing is for I guess because we're suspect testing like Genesec, uh, Protein Green Ninja, Hoopa and Bond which I have on my roster stuff like that for leagues and it kind of shows that Genesect in my opinion is pretty pretty OP in league for, in league play um, because it has all the coverage it needs, it has a great ability, it has a setup move in shift gear 
if I remember correctly, and just it's almost impossible to prep for. Um, yeah, we lose this game 0-2, we're still in a solid position in my opinion. We are 1-1 now with a plus one differential and we are facing another division rival next uh, week, the Mesquite and Mesprits, I believe. Um, I already prepped for it, I'm gonna bring some heat as you will see <laughs> next Saturday in my um, in my team builder, but I don't wanna spoil anything <laughs> because I still have to battle the guy. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I can bo easily bounce back from the from the game and probably finish with a winning record and make the playoffs. So I'm not too concerned about the game. We all also play again later in the season, I believe, where I will definitely play around with my hazard stackers, um, like more conservative and like saving them for the late game so that I can get up my rocks. Um, which like really cost me in this game that I didn't get up hazards. I mean, I forced the defog so hazards weren't up on my side, but it is like it was terrible for me not to have hazards up. I said in my team builder, if I win the hazard war, I win the match. If I lose it, I lose the match, and that's that's what happened because, in my opinion, he won the hazard war by not having any hazards on the field. But um, yeah, um, I maybe I sound a little bit salty here because of the which I think is a misplay with his Genesect and because of some um, rolls from the foul play, but that's not what I mean. I'm like It was a really good match, he played really well, he put me in a position where I had to go for game with my Lopani earlier than I wanted to and he deserved his win 100% but it was like a game that could have I had a lot of 50-50s, a lot of predictions, and it could have easily gone in my favor, so I'm definitely hyped for the rematch and probably be at 2-1 this time next week um, after our next match, which will go up on Sunday again. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say right now. Uh, go check out my opponent for this week. Um, he's a really, really good battler. He puts out some nice content there. Um, his team builder was really cool. He put a lot of thought into his team and go definitely go check him out. Um, see you next week.